Hi, we are Two Extreme Robotics. We're Team 3558. This is our early season robot reveal. Okay, our intake um, is running at 16.5 watts here and here. Um, we have three rollers. They're all banded. Uh, we decided this was just a lot faster than the chain or flex wheels uh, that we saw. We also have this hood here, which can pivot. This is for indexing out the back. We can also have it in the middle here for um, holding the balls in place. And we also have this one where obviously it just scores. These two, these uh, rollers here, these, these are separate. That's so that we can shoot it at the middle for that middle goal. Uh, we have this aligner here. This aligner is for the middle goal. It's also for the match loaders with this little cutout and the top goal. These little corners in here, that just aligns with the metal part of that top goal. Uh, and that helps us a lot in driver control because we don't have to spend as much time lining up. Uh, we also have this traction mat here. This goes all the way up. That's so that the balls can roll rather than just sliding, and that makes it go up a lot faster and uh, more consistently. This is secured by standoffs and stuff, and this is all basically just one continuous sheet of polycarb here running up. That's an aligner so that we can get it out the back consistently. All right, to start off uh, with our drivetrain, this is running 55 watts. Uh, we did this because like, we needed some more motors for the other aspects of our robot. Um, but we actually found that that was not the best because it didn't have very much torque and that really limited our um, scoring capabilities. Um, we also have these zip ties here. These are a lot better uh, than like polycarb because you have a limited amount of polycarb. And they work just as well um, to get over the bar. Uh, one thing that was kind of challenging uh, to do to get over the bar was our ODOM. We really wanted this for accurate uh, autonomous, but the vertical one here um, and the horizontal one, they don't have that good suspension that you need to get over the bar because we just don't have enough space here. Um, we also have this bracing here, which is gears. These are also to conserve polycarb because obviously you don't have as much Okay, next we're gonna be talking about our match loader or little will as it's been referred to um, throughout other VEX teams. What's cool about ours is ours is motor based, so that means we have no pneumatics on this robot. So we use a 5.5 watt motor to power this from going up and down. And we have a string that comes here because we didn't want our motor to be exposed. Um, the reason why we did a 55 watt drive was actually because we wanted to save that extra half motor for our match loading system. The last component we're going to talk about is our horde mech. We designed our basket using the um, traction mat as opposed to string or seed channels, which is what we've seen other teams do. Um, one cool feature about our basket is we designed it to come off simply, so there's two screws that attach it so we can remove it when our strategy doesn't need for us to have a horde mech. We will say that at Mall of America, we didn't use this as much as we thought because the game um, the way the games were going is we didn't have a lot of time to go around and collecting and hoarding balls. So in our future designs, we're going to look on either making this smaller or incorporating it in a different way. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any additional questions about this robot or anything else we've done this season, please leave a comment down below and we'll make sure to respond or reach out to us on Instagram at 2 Extreme Robotics. Good luck with the rest of your season and I hope you have an extremely awesome day.